How many terms are in a sequence if you're given the first few and the last term? You need to know how many are in between because they left a bunch out, those jerks. Well, we start with 107 and it goes down six and down six again. That's our hint that it's an arithmetic sequence. And we can use this formula where we have the value of a particular term, the first term, the, uh, the, the whatever term corresponds to this value, and the common difference. Let me just rewrite that here for y'all. Tn equals a plus n minus one times d. So, we want to know which term this is. Is it the 50th? Is it the millionth? Is it the 72nd? Who knows? Let's find out. We want to know what it is. So we plug that in for the value of the term. We know that the first term is 107 because they told us. What we don't know is n. We don't know what number of term negative 61 is. But we also know that we're going down 6 every time. So we have to multiply this whole thing by negative 6. So how do we solve for n? Algebraically, there's lots of ways to do it. I'm going to do it my way. The first thing is move the 107 over. We have to subtract it from that side. When I do that, negative 61 minus 107, I get negative 168. How do I undo this multiplication? I divide both sides by negative 6, divided by negative, oh geez, negative 168 divided by negative 6 is 28. And how do I undo subtraction of 1? Well, I add 1. That's easy. n turns out to be 29. Now that tells me that this is the 29th term. To recap, if you're looking for how many terms are in a sequence, plug in that for t, plug in the first term for a, plug in your common difference for d, and solve for your n algebraically. The method that I showed you here will always work. Best of luck.